Hi everybody, in this video I will show you how to get any Samsung Galaxy A13 unlocked. I will show you step by step how to get your phone unlocked, but first a quick disclaimer. We will not do any type of illegal unlock and we will not use any type of hacking tool in any way. Phones that are reported as lost or stolen cannot be unlocked. In this video, we will show you ethical ways to unlock your phone. So let's begin. So the first thing that you need to understand is that there are three types of unlocks. The first type is the network unlock. This will unlock your phone to use it with any SIM card in any country from any service provider. Then you have the passcode unlock or the security unlock. This guide will show you how to access your device if maybe you forgot the passcode or the security pattern. And lastly, we have the factory reset protection lock or the Google account lock. Maybe you purchased a phone from somebody else and it came with a cloud-based lock. We will show you ethical solutions, no hacks or anything illegal. We will include timestamps, so feel free to skip this video depending on what you're looking for. So let's begin with the network unlock. Like I said before, this will make your phone compatible with any SIM card. Unlocking a phone is not a free process, but I'll show you the best and the easiest way to remotely unlock your device, meaning that everything is done over the air, no cables and no software required. But you may be wondering why to unlock your phone. So there are a few reasons. First, it eliminates roaming costs while traveling because with an unlocked phone, you could simply purchase a local SIM card and use it for data and calls, which is way cheaper than roaming services. Additionally, the resale value of an unlocked phone increases. Having a phone that is unlocked is worth much more because you could sell it to anybody, regardless of their service provider that they use. And if you're wondering, yes, you can unlock your phone even if it's under an active contract with your current service provider. But keep in mind that this will not work for phones that have been reported as lost or stolen. If your device is blacklisted, this method will not work. So in this video, I'll show you ethical and safe ways, and there's no harm to the device. To unlock your phone, you will need a computer, a SIM card, and your device. So with that said, let's begin. Step one, we need to get the phone's IMEI number. We will get it by dialing star hash zero six hash. As you will see, the IMEI number will show up in the screen. This is a 15 digit number. This number can also be found in the box and in the settings of your device. Step two, now we need to grab the computer and we're gonna go to the following website, unlockriver.com. We will include all the links below. Using this tool, we will unlock the phone. We're going to start by selecting the original carrier and the country that your phone is currently locked to. Then we will select the brand and then we will select the exact model and service. In some cases, you will get multiple services. Some are faster than others, and the prices may change. Next up, insert your IMEI number. This is the number that we got previously. Then insert your email address, and you will receive an email notification with the unlock code or with a notification that your phone has been remotely unlocked. Then you will see the price and an estimated processing time, which does not include weekends. Let's proceed. In the following screen, you will get a summary of your order, check that everything is correct, and please make sure that your phone is actually not already unlocked. Make sure that you have selected the correct original carrier. Then scroll down, place your order, and we will have to wait until the unlock request is processed. It may take a while, so I will be back once the process has been completed. Once your unlock has been processed, you will receive an email. The email should confirm that your phone has been successfully unlocked, and it will include instructions on how to activate the unlock. In some cases, you will need to insert an unlock code, and for other devices, you simply need to connect your phone to Wi-Fi. Step three. After receiving the notification that your phone has been unlocked, we're going to power off the device, and you will need to remove the SIM card tray and insert a non-supported SIM card. In other words, a SIM card that is different from the original carrier. Once you have inserted a SIM card power on your device, it will take a few seconds to recognize a new device, and a message will pop up requesting the unlock code. If you received an unlock code in your email, this is the time to enter it and press unlock. You will get a success message indicating that your phone has now been unlocked. Perfect, now you can use your phone with any carrier anywhere in the world. If you did not receive an unlock code in your email, but you only received the instructions and the confirmation that your phone was unlocked, what you have to do is simply restart your phone, connect it to Wi-Fi, and the unlock will be instantly activated. For some US carriers like T-Mobile, you will need to launch the device unlock app, which is an app that is already pre-installed in your device. Simply open the app and click activate the unlock by pressing unlock, and your phone should remain permanently unlocked. Your phone is now unlocked and ready to be used with any network. Now let's move on to the other types of unlocks. Let's proceed with the passcode unlock or the security unlock. This is in case you forgot the passcode of your phone or if your phone has been locked because of too many incorrect attempts. It's important to know that the phone must be yours. If it's a stolen device or if you're not the rightful owner, you will not be able to unlock it because chances are you will be locked with a cloud-based lock. What we will do here is a factory reset to wipe the phone completely and be able to restore it to factory settings to use it again. So please be aware that all the information about this phone will be deleted unless you have a backup of your data somewhere in the cloud or in your computer. 
The first step is to connect your phone to your computer using a cable. Make sure that your phone has enough battery, at least 20%. And then we will enter recovery mode by performing a specific command using the following keys on the side. This may vary depending on every model, so I recommend that you Google how to enter recovery mode in your exact model. To enter recovery mode into a Samsung Galaxy, usually goes like this. Press and hold the volume down key and the power key for around 15 seconds. Then press and hold the volume up key and the power key. If it didn't work on the first time, I suggest that you try it again until you get it. If you did it successfully, we will see the following screen. We will use the volume up key and down key to navigate through the menu. Scroll down to where it says wipe data factory reset and then select the power button to enter. Warning, this will delete all the data of your phone, so you should only proceed if that's not a problem for you. Next, we will select Reboot System Now. It will take a few seconds and after a while, your device will be restored to factory settings and you should be able to use it without any issues. And there you have it, your phone should be unlocked. Now, in some cases, you might experience a factory reset protection lock or the Google account lock. If you have purchased a phone that is locked to a Google account, you will need to contact the previous owner to remove the lock. They can do this by logging into the Google account and removing the devices from their account settings. This would be the best and the cheapest solution. But if you have tried contacting the previous owner and you still have no lock, I will include an article in the description of this video that describes ethical solutions to completely remove the Google account lock or the FRP lock. And after that, your phone should be fully unlocked. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.